How to fix the mouse cursor disappeared on Windows 10. Hello and welcome to Easy Tech Geek. Today in this video, I'll tell you the easiest way to fix this disappeared of mouse cursor problem. So let's get started. And I also understand your situation that you are not able to use the mouse. So I'll be using my keyboard and I'll be guiding you through the same. Okay, so let's get started. So on your keyboard, press window and R and the moment you will do it you will see a run window and here we need to type dev mgmt dot msc once you do that hit enter a new window will appear like device manager just press the tab key and with the help of down arrow key on a keyboard go to mice and other pointing devices now here we need to press the right arrow key so earlier we pressed down arrow key and now we are pressing the right arrow key so the moment I do it I get the options of mice and other pointing devices so I'll select my mouse cursor which is usually for Windows 10 HID compliant mouse for everyone so I'll select the last one and I hit enter the moment I hit enter I need to press the tab key again to select the general tab the moment I'll select the general tab I can press the right arrow key to select the driver tab and then again I'll keep on pressing the tab key to go to uninstall device and then I'll press enter and I'll click on uninstall by pressing enter so the moment I do it the driver has been removed now what I'll do I'll press the alt key and the very top the file menu is already selected now with the help of arrow key the right arrow key I'll select the action and hit enter and then with the with the help of down arrow key I'll select the scan for hardware changes and hit enter it will start scanning for the device and the driver will be installed and it will fix your problem the cursor will appear back and if it doesn't if it doesn't fix your problem then we will move to the next step for that we need to select the mouse driver again and hit enter and then press the tab key to select the general menu and then the right arrow key on a keyboard and then again I'll be keep on pressing the tab key to go to disable device and then I'll press enter and with the help of tab I'll say yes so this will actually disable my mouse and I'll press enter again and it will enable it again so it will fix your problem the mouse cursor will appear back and if it doesn't we will move to the third step and the third step is we need to go to the update driver section so with the help of tab key I'll go to update driver and hit enter and then again I'll press enter to search automatically for drivers and if it shows the best driver is already installed then I'll press the enter again to select the Windows update here alright so make sure you just select this search for updated drivers on Windows update you can do that and it will take another two to five minutes to update the drivers of your mouse if it doesn't fix your problem then we'll move to the fourth step which is again in the update driver so we will hit enter and this time we will select the browse my computer for drivers with the down arrow key now I'll hit enter 
and I'll select let me pick so this is actually a rollback so let's say if you have accidentally updated or something happened to your machine and it got corrupted and I need to roll back my driver because my cursor is not working so I'll select this option let me pick from a list of available drivers so I'll hit I'll hit enter again now HID compliant mouse the bottom one is already selected so I'll press the tab and I'll select the top one with the help of arrow key the upper arrow key and then I'll go to I'll press tab again to select the next once the next is selected I'll just click on next I mean I'll hit enter and the rollback of your driver will be done and most probably it will fix your problem but if it doesn't we will move to the fifth step so the fifth step is actually a last step which we are going to do is you need to press the window and R key okay and if you have Chrome installed in your machine then just type Chrome C H R O M E in the whole troubleshooting process I have not used my mouse just for you guys so I'm doing everything from the keyboard itself so once you type Chrome hit enter and Chrome will open but let's say if you guys don't have the Chrome installed in your machine then we need to type Microsoft hyphen edge colon so there is no space between Microsoft and edge so Microsoft then hyphen then edge and then semicolon and then you need to press enter and the edge browser will be opened edge browser is a Windows 10 inbuilt browser so it will definitely gonna open now here you need to type Windows 10 mouse driver and then hit enter and scroll it down and look for the Microsoft website so I have s found the Microsoft website with the help of arrow key I'll be selecting I'm um, sorry uh, with the help of tab I'll be selecting all these options so I am going to select the Microsoft website from here and I'll I can press shift and tab to go back and here I just have to press enter so it will open up the support Microsoft support website and I'll just click on down arrow key with the help of keyboard and select the tab again so I'll select the 64 version because most of us have 64 bit computer in 99 percent cases we found that 64 bit version is uh, used by most of the users because 32 bit is already obsolete so we need to select and then hit enter it will automatically download a file a .exe executable file just press control and J and either you can with the help of the tab key you can open and install this application alright so if it work for you please do subscribe my channel hit the like button for this video and you guys have a great day take care I'll see you in the next video bye bye